Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part 31 of an ESO High Isle walkthrough. In the previous episode, I had just been told to go to this uh, public dungeon. Uh, let me see where it is here. It is right here. It's called Spire of the Crimson Coin. But the problem is, of course, public dungeons are really difficult to do solo uh, on a character that only has 160 champion points. So I created a solo build with some more healing. I've got uh, Echoing Vigor, Whirling Blades, Cutting Dive, Shrouded Daggers. And then on my back bar, I've got Green Lotus, of course, Bull Natch, and Ice Fortress. And then I started... I put all of my champion points in, so I've got all kinds of damage mitigation and self-healing and stuff. Uh, so just be aware, I'm about to try to do this public dungeon, but if you try to do this on a character with CP160, it's going to be a lot more difficult. For those who wash ashore with I want to make lives. sure I can 100% complete this dungeon. Usually when I do these walkthroughs, when I get to the public dungeon part, I don't 100% complete it. I usually, has news. I usually just do the quest, and, um, you know, maybe I kill the final boss or whatever, but I want to try to do all of the bosses and get the all the achievements for the public dungeon. So that's why I'm using an over-leveled character. I'm kind of cheating, but... Uh, the way you're supposed to do this... It's just supposed to get a group together, but it's nearly impossible to get groups for public dungeons because most people have tons of champion points and they just solo hey there, them. Over here, Squire I'm Ryan. Oh, thank every single divine you're here. I'm a squire without his knight, and she needs our help. What's going on? Dame Matic and I are on a quest to slay the blood mage who resides within this ancient edifice. I did extensive research to ready us for the trials ahead, but she forbade me from entering the Fiend's lair now that we're here. Why didn't she want you to enter the tower? She has a rather... unique style of mentorship. However, I fear confronting the villain and utilizing my research may be difficult for one person to do alone. If you're going to take the boat over and I follow, surely she can't fault me for that. Got it. Alright, Squire, you're with me. Excellent. I do so hope we'll see an efficacious outcome to today's events. And that Dame Matic is safe, of course. You don't seem much like a knight in training. Ah, yes. I have heard that sentiment before. It was my use of expensive words, wasn't it? <sighs> Dame Matic has been an able teacher, and I'm a fair hand with a blade. But my mouth and my mind are my greatest weapons. Are you sure you want to be a knight? As sure as the light of Magnus rises upon the face of Nern each morning. I've wanted to join the knightly order since I was a child at my father's knee. Dame Matic was good enough to take me into her service. I'll do her proud. You'll see. What is this place? An excellent question. We stand before the spire of the Crimson Coin, a relic of a bygone era, the time of the Breton Coin Barons. The sisters have been owned by many groups over the years, sold and resold by Tamsfolk on the continent. And who's this mage you're after? I have only an educated guess. But my guesses are usually pretty good. I believe the Spire's ruler is none other than Jacquard Castle, Arch Magus in service to House Gimard some thousand years ago. Fascinating, isn't it? Yes, but how is it possible the mage is that old? Hmm... He could have prolonged his life any number of ways. My best guess is some form of mystical prolongation, commonly called lichdom. My research indicates he has invested his soul in a powerful phylactery. Further study is obviously indicated. All right, let's go study. Spire of the Crimson Coin, the coin barons of the old High Rock, once owned the Sisters Archipelago, and their structures still lie scattered across the islands. Dramatic! 
There's no profit in this. Away with you! Blast! This isn't over. Hey, oh, Matic? Yeah. Many greetings, Traveler. Truth be told, I'm glad Rayan didn't listen to me. Shows he's coming out of his shell. I just know beneath his mousy visage beats the heart of a poet. Plus, we could use your help against that damn blood mage. Was that the blood mage you were fighting? Just so. That scoundrel is an ancient spellcaster, a cruel bastard that's clung to life in this old tower for centuries. That reign of terror will end today, if I have anything to say about it. If he's that old, why assault the tower now? Blood Mage Castle has been a scourge across the Isles, and of late his raids have become too much to bear. His minions have collected piles of booty for his dark vault. The head of my order himself charged us with ending this fiend's life. How can we help? Oh, that bastard is more dangerous than I expected. I'll keep him busy while you two even our odds. Rayan holds the key. He was the one that came up with the plan for our assault. He'll be a tremendous knight one day. Stendar, guide your arm. Good luck. Follow me. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going this way. It was so good to see Dame Matic in fighting form. She's gone after the Blood Mage. Yes, what's the plan? The tower itself is a conduit for the Blood Mage's power. The heart of the tower is his dark phylactery. He's invested his soul within this mystical construct, so violence to his physical body will not be enough to end his dark reign. So we need to destroy the heart of the tower to kill the mage? <laughs> I can see you are no stranger to inexplicable arcane phenomenon. Together, we will construct a symbolic weapon that we can use to smash the phylactery. Normal weapons, like hammers, wouldn't make a dent in this thing. How do we do that? First, we gather materials from the tower grounds. They'll be sympathetic foci for the dark power Blood Mage Castle wields. Once we have the materials, we imbue them with gore from the heart. Then, well, smashy smashy. Okay, build the weapon, smash the phylactery. Let's get to it. I've extensively studied this ruin. The Spire's statuary gardens should be littered with bones from ancient rites. A large one, possibly a femur, would be a good handle for our sympathetic weapon. Can we talk more about Dame Matic? How long have you known her? Most of my life, really. I've been her squire since I was first able to hold my own sword. It was an inspiration to see her in fighting form, wasn't it? She's a bit unusual for a knight. I've learned a lot from Dame Matic's... Uh, unorthodox leadership approach. She firmly believes in pushing squires to better themselves. As she likes to say, I'm not your captain, kid. Figure it out. Why are you glad she's in fighting form? She was ill for some time, just a short while ago. Past it now, I'm sure. But she's such a vibrant force, on the battlefield or the stage. It was a blow to see her barely able to swing a blade. Not like today. <laughs> okay. Let's head to the statuary hall on the northwest side of the gardens. Should be plenty of bone to work with there. Got a champion like every point good there. Story, your tale just grows in the telling. Hmm. You know, there's probably hidden bosses all around here. After we finish, you might have to backtrack and try that to find the rest of enough. the bosses. It'll work for what we need. Large femur. This bone seems solid and strong, even with its weathered appearance. We have the hilt, now we need a head. I suggest we make for the hammer's head. I suggest we make for the prison warrens on the north side of the tower. 
We should find an executioner's block we can use. Sorry, I, I uh, tried to talk to him while he was still talking. For the hammer's head, I suggest we go to the prison warrens. An executioner's block would be perfect for what we have in mind. Macabre though it may be. So this weapon will be made of a bone and a chopping block? Not exactly traditional, I know. But these objects are soaked in the dark aura of this place. They should prove able vessels for the tower's power. And they'll smash the heart without fail. <laughs> That's important too. Interesting. Thanks, Rayon. I think I don't have any buff. Much better. You gonna come alive too? Yeah? We fought well. We did, we did, Isabel. You can see I've switched my companion to Isabel. I would have liked to use Miri, but this character hasn't unlocked Miri. This thing's gonna come alive. Maybe not. Ha! Rayan! The prison warrant. The goes well. Keep going! I've got this fiend right where I want him. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, she's a little too sure of herself. Somewhere in here is an old executioner's. All right, we're here. I keep accidentally hitting him when I'm trying to loot stuff. Looking forward That's... to seeing what you make with that. Probably nothing. Probably nothing, Isabel. Probably won't make anything with it. Why can't I loot anything? I'm, I'm talking to people instead of looting stuff. Executioner's block. This block of wood is encrusted with dried blood. It could certainly withstand a few solid strikes. Ugh, I cringe to imagine what horrors that thing has seen. Alright, now we need to get the water flowing around the tower again. Let's head to the mill southeast of the tower. Let's find that mill, which I believe lies southeast of the tower. We'll need the waters around the spire flowing again if we're going to finish the weapon. Why do we need to get the water flowing? Well, binding the parts together won't be a problem. The real question is, how do we imbue it with the heart's power? My research indicates the tower's energies flow into the water course nearby. Let's go then. Can I loot any of this stuff? No, it just says Squire Ryan every time I try to loot something. Ah, and here is the Sky Shard. Watch your step. Those sigils are dangerous. by one of those things. Can I even get to the sky shard? It's a hedge maze. Ah, uh, I can't get to it. I wonder how you get to it. I couldn't 
use my ability there. Here it is. I can see yeah. the sky shard right there and can't get to it. Here's here's one of the bosses. Crimson Apprentice. I'm with you, my friend. Come into the maze and fight. If you can. Uh, he's got a force field around him. Am I to the left? Or perhaps to the right? I don't know what to do. I I can't. How do we get through his force field? Lost. Ah, uh, where could I be? Ah, uh, where could I be? I mean, is he bugging out or what? Oh no! Are you lost? This is crazy. I mean, I don't know if he's bugging out or if uh. Right to the left, or perhaps to the right. How did you find him? Where could I be? Come into the maze and find out. Okay, so maybe you can attack him when he's in that force field? That's so confusing. Am I to the left? Or perhaps to the right? No. He's just not gonna... I can't deal damage to him like this. Where could I be? Maybe he was taking damage. I that tired of this. You Normally when an enemy has a force field around them like that, you can't damage them. You have to kill ads. Ow. Alright, we took out one of the bosses. There's usually four or five in each public dungeon. Alright, I found the Sky Shard. Now, let's continue on with the quest. If I can figure out how to get back on track. Um, maybe I was going the right way after all. I think I'm almost back on the road now. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I need to go this way.
All right, getting closer. I keep on thinking that statue's gonna come to life and attack me. Hopefully, the mechanism is just jammed. See if you can find a way to get it turning again. Assemble the weapon at the smithy southwest of the tower. Let's go. All right, check out the wisp mother. That's it. We've got the water moving. Now, to put this damnable thing together, we just need to find the blacksmith shop. It's southwest of the tower, I believe. That's our last stop? The magic of this place permeates everything. As you saw, the water here has taken on aspects of the Blood Mage's power. Now that we have a hammer made of the pain and death in this place, we just have to, for lack of a better term, forge it. All right. Isn't magic strange? I believe if we dip the weapon into a trough of this churning water, it should have all the properties we need to destroy the heart. Let's head to the blacksmith shop then. Alright, where's the blacksmith shop? Of course, all the way on the other side of the map. was with us in that fight. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Fingers are starting to hurt for pressing keys so much. <laughs>
the Blighted Carapace. Alright, boss number two. Ooh, that hurt. Oh! Man, this thing gets hard. There's the smithy. Everything we need should be inside. Isabel is a big help here. With her tanking, that would have been a lot harder here without we are. her. Use one of those workbenches to bind the bone and the block together. All right, let's do it. Bone hammer. A rough and basic hammer made from the bones of large beasts. It is sturdier than it looks at first glance. Exemplary work. Now quench it in the water of the tower, and we'll have what we need. Wait, what? Oh, the water of the tower, okay. Imbued bone hammer. Made of an executioner's block and a bone. This weapon should work to destroy the blood mage's phylactery. Divine, save us! Look at that thing! The weapon is ready. Let's head to the tower. Very well done. We're like the heroes in all of Maddox's old tales now. Let's head to the tower and face down the Blood Mage. You think this thing will work? I do. With enough time, he might be able to recreate his phylactery, even limited as he would be in his hemomorphic spiritual form. We won't give him the chance. You, Dame Maddox, and I will put an end to him, once and for all. Let's see it done. All right, so if we find any more bosses on the way, we'll take them out. Otherwise, we'll kill the quest boss, and then we'll have to backtrack to find the others. Um, a lot of times, these bosses are hard to find. You have to look them up online, unless you want to just search around for hours. None left to stand against us. to the entrance. No guards. Just run straight through. Heart of the Spire. Ugh, look at this place. The castle must be close. Let's find a Matic, Traveler. Alright. This is disgusting. I mean, it sounds like a heart beating. I guess I'm supposed to go upstairs? Yeah, through this door, looks like. Is there anything I can loot here? No? Do my die! No! Coinless mongrels! Come find me at the Spire's pinnacle if you dare! Oh, she's okay. Ah, 
Damn it all. I almost had... Ugh, I almost had him. Those wounds don't look good. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't feel good either. I'm afraid this is as far as I go. You and Sir Rayan will need to finish our quest. Dash it all. Sir Rayan? You're so close to victory. And there will be a spot in the Order when I'm gone. It becomes a full-fledged night today. I'm glad I could play a part. You oh. knew this would happen. I... I took on this quest knowing it would be my end. I have only a few months to live. A wasting disease. So terribly cliché. I couldn't stomach the thought of my last tale ending in a sickbed somewhere. Your story will live on. I should bloody well hope so. After all this... Thank you, adventurer. Now, let me talk to my squire one last time. Of course. <sighs> all things considered, that could have gone better. Please, let me help. No? No, my dear friend. You need to finish what I could not. I have so much left to learn. I'm not ready. You have been ready for a long time. Take my hat, Sir Rayan, and stand as a knight of our order. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you, Maddox. I won't... I won't let you down. Oh, so sad. All right, let's go kill this evil sorcerer. She... She just had to take center stage, even at the end. I'm sorry, Rayan. I can grieve later. I'll hold up a flagon in her memory and sing one of those songs we learned together. And, of course, wear her ridiculous hat. She said she knew this would be her last adventure. I know. We... we can talk about it later. Now then, <clears throat> we need to find the Blood Mage and put an end to his murderous ways. Will you join me? Of course, Sir Rayan. The Blood Mage, that's what I meant. Not an evil sorcerer, but a Blood Mage. As to what exactly a Blood Mage is, I don't know. I guess they use blood magic? Spirit of Nern. I've never read that book before, really? It made the ding sound. But I don't think that is a high this is aisle it. lore book. We need to destroy his phylactery. Smash it with the bone hammer. Alright, uh oh. Oh, just a. Oh, that's him. Blood Mage Cassell. My power is as eternal as this child. Your life ends now, wretch. He was way easier than the other bosses. Alright, let's take this thing out. What have you done? No! We've done it! I'm going to head back to shore. See you there, my friend. Alright, I'll meet you there as soon as I find the other bosses and kill them. Alright, now, let's look at the achievement. Let's see... Not antiquities, achievements. Dungeons, public dungeons. And the name of this is... Something the coin? Uh, Spire of the Crimson Coin? Why couldn't I find it? Okay, let's try this. Spire of the Crimson Coin. And... Okay.
Okay, Crimson Coin Group Event. So we've not killed the Crimson Mother. We've not killed Anya Miles the Unclean, Chill Spine, or Shambleback. Alright, so I'm going to look those up. Okay, it looks like the most difficult boss, the group event, is nearby, the Crimson Mother. See, this is not going to work. Is there any way... No, it doesn't look like there's any way to get through there this way. I've got to go around somehow. Okay, what about this? So it looks like I have to go north. I have to go to the north side, and then there's an entrance somewhere up there that will allow us to get in to the group event. Oh, these are other players. I should get them to help me. Still got a ways to go. What's this? This looks like it might be an entrance. No. Can't get through there. Alright. I mean, this is not a boss, right? There's a sack of supplies over there. What's inside? Just some iron ore, Isabel, but thanks for pointing it out. Alright, I think I'm getting close to the entrance, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, look at all these hag ravens. Or harpies, sorry. Come on! Follow me into the group event, please. Looks like that's where she's going. Here's the prison warrens. I think there's one boss in here. No, we missed we missed the other boss. That's alright. I can kill the other boss without the other player helping me. I just need her to help me with the group event, because that's going to be tough. This is not the end of our tale. Come on! Where are you going? I'm gonna, 
I want to try to talk to her and get her to understand that this is the group event coming up. Come on. She knows what she's doing. She knows what's going on. Alright, let's do this. Stamina. That's all right, I got a potion. Where's the other player? She's way back there. I'm getting overwhelmed. this boss resets, I'm going to be pissed. And it looks like she's going to reset. Yeah. Damn. Oh. This isn't good. <sighs> I think we're going to need help. Anyone help with group event? my bear.
Well, that's gonna be it for me. Well, I'm not sure we can kill this with just the two of us. like we don't have enough people. Yeah. Thanks for trying, though. I had fun. Haha, <laughs> good luck. Alright, well, we're not going to be able to kill the, the group event boss. That's a shame. I really wanted to 100% complete this. Let me see. We still need to kill Anya Moose the Unclean. I'm gonna try to run past these mobs here. Um, no, there's no door there. Is this Anya? This is Anya coming up here. Where is she? I can't find her. Oh, I'm doing damage to her. Maybe she's going to come out after we kill these. Move! Get out of there! Looks like maybe that's her right there. Okay. Uh, we still gotta kill Chillspine and Shambleback. Okay, Shambleback is to the northeast. Over here. I can actually see it on my map now, I think. No. There he is.
for that. Dang, he killed her twice. He killed her, I rest her, and then he killed her again. One more boss, I think. Yeah, pretty sure we just gotta kill Chill Spawn now. And we'll at least get the Crimson Coin Conqueror achievement. So Chill Spawn, of course, is in the lower left corner. Channel that all life flows. Am I to the left? Or perhaps to the right? It's here. This is actually where I was supposed to go. The icy touch of oh my god. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, last boss. Now, let me check the achievements just to make sure. We got it. We got Crimson Coin Conquer. The only one we couldn't get was the group event. That's a shame. But at least we got everything else. I'm going to see if I can just get out of combat. I might be able to teleport out of here. And ride back to the dungeon this way come here then I'll just ride east and turn in the quest Nice to see a bright sunny day again after all that darkness and gloom and <laughs> fog. Yeah. Alright, here's Sir Ryan. Ryan, however you pronounce his name. It's over. We have slain the Blood Mage and I am a knight. What will you do next? I need to recover Maddox's body. I'll see her brought back to the Order and make sure she gets proper honors for her deeds. Do you need any assistance? No, my friend. You've done so much already. I am... was... her squire. This is for me to do alone. Perhaps we'll see each other again someday, Sir Ryan. 
I'd like that very much. Best of luck on your adventures here on High Isle. I'll ensure your name is sung alongside Dame Maddox in the tale of the Crimson Spire. Good luck. I couldn't have done it without your help. Or, of course, without Dame Maddox. I'm sure wherever she is, she's smiling, singing, and toasting our success. I'll need to return to the Order and let them know what happened. Thank you, my new friend. Alright, we got the Crimson Bone Hammer as a memento, and we got the... Um... The one-handed mace from the Steadfast Metal set. I'm not sure if I'm worthy of the title, but I will do all that I can to bring honor to the Order of the Albatross. It's what Dame Maddox would have wanted, after all. Did you know that Dame Maddox was dying? I didn't, but I suspected. She's been a bit quieter the last few months. She'd never make people worry about her. Those of us closest to her would be the last she'd want to know. I'm sorry for your loss. She was trying, sometimes insufferable, our Dame Maddock. I mean, look at this hat. <laughs> but she was also the most generous, kind person I've ever known. And her example is one I shall follow to the end of my days. Alright. Let's check out this memento. Ah. Uh... Um, where is it? Oh, I have so many mementos. It's hard to find it. There it is, Crimson Bone Hammer. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like it. So where are we going next? Alright, we're going to do the other public dungeon next time. It's called Ghost Haven Bay. In the meantime... Thanks for watching. See you next time.